Okay, we are live. Okay, um, I can't explain it, but there's something going on. A crazy energy inside of me. Okay, so let's start off with the styling. We are talking about Moldova's first rehearsal in Rotterdam, the Netherlands. Now, for those who know or follow me on TikTok, if you're not following me on TikTok, it's just at Alicia Michelle. I'm on TikTok, Instagram, and Twitter. Same name, real simple. The styling is great. She's like dripping diamonds. It's very like Kylie Minogue showgirl-esque. But I will say this. The heels, although they look good, I think they might be too high. And I mean, it's interesting that they've gone with putting her in stilettos. No, she's not doing full out choreo, but I think for the choreography that she is doing, she would easily feel more comfortable and have more flexibility to move if she had a thicker heel. So if there's an option to get like a nice shoe that matches with a thicker heel, I think that that will help out the performance a ton. Let me hop into these comments real quick. Um, Ahmed, should we start getting worried? I wouldn't be worried. I wouldn't be worried. Igor asks, wait, is the accent bad? No, I think that there's some charm to hearing folks kind of sing and speak English with that little lilt. Um, so no, I wouldn't say that at all. Jordy, how was Moldova's rehearsal and run? Did it live up to the height like it, like it was in the music video? I hope it did. Here's the thing. The staging is very minimal and it's interesting. So let's talk about the LEDs. We've got the pink again and we've got a little bit of blue happening, this theme of lighting that we're seeing. And the only issue I see with Moldova's LED is it's gonna bleed into Poland's a little bit visually. Poland is doing sort of the Tron turquoise LED grid look and Moldova is doing a pink Tron LED grid like and um, and that makes me a little bit worried because they literally are right next to each other. They're literally right next to each other. Vocally, she was holding back. She was definitely marking vocally. Um, but I will say at the start of it, she was singing it very sultry. And the problem was she was singing it so sultry that it was kind of like, um, it was so sultry that it almost was like you were missing some of the lyric. And um, and really the vocal needed to, like the way that I was singing when I first started, like she was sort of like, I can't explain it, but we still needed to be supported. I can't explain it, but there's something going on. A crazy energy. And you know, you can still push out the vocal well, and, and make it have that sort of sexy uh, vocal fry without it being airy to the point of like, well, wait, what are you saying? Where it almost sounds like a whisper. But like I said, she was definitely reserving her vocal. So maybe that's what I'm more so hearing. Um, uh, Ray, Alicia, you have the video labeled as Russia instead of Moldova. Oh, well, I can change it after. I So what I did was um, I've been using like the same template. <laughs> Uh, and actually, I think I just saved it now. Okay, um, there might be, Raven said there might be an ad break between Poland and Moldova. Well, they'll need it. They'll need it because visually it is looking very similar as far as the LEDs are concerned. Let's talk about the dancers. The dancers are shirtless in suits. The choreography is the same that we've seen in some of these pre-shows. And I will say, even though most people at home won't see that, I was thinking that they would mix it up a little bit more. The minimalism that they're doing on stage with sort of the busy LED, I find to clash a little bit. It's like, it'd be one thing if the LED in the background was like a solid color. Like think about the music video where we have like the solid pink background. I actually think that that would be more appealing of a visual than this sort of Tron background. And again, because we're coming off of Poland doing Tron in turquoise, and now we're going into Moldova doing Tron in pink. 
I, I am just a little bit worried about that. And we want to keep at least enough visual diversity so that Moldova gets to stand on its own. Uh, Den Vilda, as in 2018, there will be a number, but not a song. Kirkorov has done well. Um, hmm. Um, I, I don't. Well, so. So, yeah, Do Re Do's really was a number. This one, because of how minimal it is. I am actually slightly concerned for it. I love the dance. I love the choreo. I love the song. Um, and I think she looks great. I'm not worried about her vocal at all. Um, but I am a little bit worried with how pared back the staging is. Because Do Re Do's had like a little kitsch quality to it. This one is feeling very slick and produced. It doesn't really have that kitsch. And I think really the hook of this is the choreography. And I don't know if the choreography stands out that much with the Tron background. If it was just a flat background where we're getting just like, now it's a blue background, now it's purple, now it's pink, since that's clearly the color scheme that everyone's going for, I think it would actually allow the choreo to pop a little bit more right now with it, with it kind of creating this grid effect in the background, I don't know if it really pops as much. Um, Ray, I think she sounded really good for holding back, to be honest. Oh, yeah. I mean, look, Natalia can sing. <laughs> Natalia can sing. I'm not concerned, really, for the vocal in this. The only thing that made me nervous, like I said, was just the beginning because she was sort of delivering a very sexy, sultry. But it was sexy, sultry, not sounding supported. It was sexy, sultry, sultry, breathy. And we still need that supported vocal. And like I said, we got the choreography. You know, hit it. Uh, 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 you know, which the choreography is so iconic and good. But again, I think that we could be showcasing it more. There is a rotating stage. Honestly, it's just this performance is, it's, it doesn't have the kitsch quality that the music video had. And maybe there are some people who are kind of like, well, no, the music video is the music video. You don't have to re replicate that on the stage. But even if we use the music video, um, to kind of show the ice creams in the back and then have them dancing in front of that, it would maybe add just that additive hook that people could latch on and really, really solidify this performance in their minds. That is my concern. Let me hop into these comments. Um, Pivasiak, um, strip back staging was the last thing I was expecting based on the song and music video. I want to kitsch chic extravaganza. I think a lot of people were looking for that. Adrian Fung, but is minimalistic and slick state slick staging, does it fit the song? Everyone expected them to go all out and the messy energy. I think that's what people expected. And I mean, obviously people at home might not be expecting that, so it might not hurt them. But as of now, as of now, I think we have Honestly, Czech Republic, I think, is going to pull it together because Benny's just like his charisma on stage is going to grab people and he's still memorable. No one's really like him on stage. Greece is so slick, definitely going to be memorable. And then with San Marino kicking off the show and Flo Rida slated to show up, I think that'll pop. And Moldova, it really depends upon what Serbia is going to do and what Iceland's going to do. But Moldova needed a hook. And if there's time to reevaluate the LEDs, if there's time to maybe bring in some of the, the imagery that we saw in the music video and have that in the LEDs, I think we're back with having our kitsch moment. Okay, um, Jersey Kaj, Moldova could not qualify. I don't know. I still think Moldova has a chance to qualify. I wouldn't be throwing in the towel thinking that they're not going to qualify. I think Moldova still has the opportunity to qualify, but I think to make that qualification solid, they're going to need to add a kitschy hook to this. Um, uh, the only Nintendo says fly in the ice cream costumes. I mean, we don't even need the ice cream costumes. We just need the ice creams to show up maybe in the LED. 
I think that would that would change it. Jippy E Latvia could qualify over Moldova. Mm, we'd have to see the staging first, because who knows? Who knows? Um, Din Vilda, you know her idol is Mariah Carey, but sorry, Alicia, I'm from Moldova, and she really doesn't sing good. She doesn't? I, I, but this song is not that vocally challenging. It's interesting that she's preserving her, her voice. And for the song, she probably doesn't have to preserve it as much as some of our other folks have, but yet she's still doing it, which I think is a mark of a professional. Um, yeah, so I think Moldova still has a chance to qualify, but we aren't getting that kitschy element that I think folks were expecting to see. And that does leave me slightly concerned for it just because I think people want to have something that they can kind of grab on and latch to. And although the choreo is strong and although, I mean, she looks great and the song I think has a nice hook um, and I think it will stick with people. I do feel slightly more worried and concerned for it, uh, given the fact that um, that we're not having that real visual moment on the stage that's kind of more obvious. So that was my review. That was my reaction. What do you think? Talk to me in the comments below. Do you agree with what I had to say? Talk to me in the comments below. Do you disagree with what I had to say? That's totally fine too. Talk to me in the comments below. This is a conversation and you know what? I am so excited for Eurovision. 2021. Don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe because I have so much content coming for you. <laughs>